And with the battle for Derby County survival going on in London, it seems not inappropriate that the baseball ground is shrouded in mist. Rather than let it go for the throw. And now Plummer's got in behind him for a moment at least. Oh, and it's got away from Harrison. Davison free in the middle if he can cross it. Here's Britton Robertson. Hodges. Stanley Ford. He's got Hodges to the right. Three the other way. Comes to Phillips. That's a good try. Really did well to strike it first time. And Stanford, who created the opening, and he had possibilities either way, in fact. Hodges was unmarked the other side. The ball came back to Phillips, who struck it with the outside of the right boot, but it spun it away a little bit too much from his viewpoint. Buckley. So that with some comfort, and they have a man over. And he doesn't take the opportunity. And it was Bobby Davison. Header by Smith, didn't take it completely away. Hit first time again, but well wide. Zell, Tynan, Wiesel, Rogers. Smith is up, so is Powell. And Barton's attempt sort of to save the corner. Just knocks the ball deeper into the crowd. Plymouth's first. But Giselle is on the near post, comes away, and Cherry in trouble, and it's straight in! Straight in! Rogers the scorer. And we'll see the fullback coming away from the near post as the corner is taken. There he goes, Giselle. And the ball has a lot of curl on it, and the goalkeeper it went right over his outreaching right arm and into the corner. Well, that is football for you. The hero of Saturday suddenly becomes the most disappointed player at the start of this replay. Giselle with the free kick. Oh, it's come straight to Smith! Oh, what an opportunity spurned! Giselle cannot believe it, and surely Smith even more so. They got the man over, look at this, and he hit it hard when really only needed to place it, and it came back off the crossbar. Gemmel. Phillips caught. Good save. Really thumped by Wilson. Phillips in the end losing out. A little touch from Plummer. Phillips tried to get there. Wilson did and really thumped one. Staniforth. Only to Wilson. He's got a man over to the right. Here's John Robertson. It's on the left. Well held and needed to be. Well, Plymouth are wondering about the two men who were suddenly standing in front of Crudington. But the linesman did not raise his, raise his flag. Oh, and he was right too. Derby ball. It's Lee Cooper, the Plymouth Argyle skipper. And Derby County have brought up reinforcements. So far, playing as a sweeper behind the back four and wearing the wrong colours, brown and white. And he's making for the far corner. Could be a reception committee. Yes. And a free kick has been given against Kenny Burns. Plymouth at the moment with two players in the area. Smith coming forward. Indirect free kick. 
Sandiford comes across the area. Smith is at the back and gets the header off the far post and away. Again, the woodwork on Cherry's side. Hodges. Burns for Derby. Wilson, Davison is in the middle, so is Plummer. And the covering header was by Lee Cooper. Thomas leading by the goal, scored by Andy Rogers in the 18th minute. And there haven't been too many threats of that goal would be wiped out. In fact, Plummer should have had two more. This header from Bobby Davison. Burns. Took his time, picked his man, Plummer. Gamble on the run, this is a chance! Plummer a bit disappointed, and I imagine that Gamble would be as well, because Plummer played him through quite beautifully. He seemed to be on sights and then wanted to go a little wider and didn't get the shot that he wanted. And Dave Watson to come on. To replace the club's top scorer, Bobby Davison. Attendance for this cup tie, 26,900, the best of the season here at the baseball ground. The three best gates have been in the FA Cup, and among that crowd, the manager of Watford, who at the moment finds his side waiting to meet Plymouth. Derby in their centenary year, Plymouth 20 years their junior. And here's Tynan. Oh, it's a good try. And the roar at the other end, I think they thought that it came off the woodwork, but it didn't. We've played a minute of injury time, and Mr. Stevens has looked again at his watch. Gemmel. Robertson. And the whistle goes, and Plymouth have a marvellous victory. The goal scored by Andy Rogers. His name will go into their club history, as will that of little John Hall, the manager who came out of Biddeford and has carried Plymouth Argyle to the stepping door of Wembley. He goes to their supporters. All the Plymouth players are there to thank their supporters. As they say, Andy, tell us about the goal. Well, <laughs> absolute fluke. That's all I can say about it. And the funny thing is that this morning in training, I took three corners just to practice taking them and messed all three up. They were three of the worst corners that you could hope to hit. And uh, the manager said, oh, don't bother taking any more. It'll be all right on the night. And that's the way it turned out. I just meant to curl it in and then it went. It was an absolute fluke. I can't see any more than that, really. 